How's it going guys? My name is Graham. This is an early look at the upcoming game Forgone. It will be available later in 2020 on the Epic Game Store and then a little while after that over on Steam so you will have the ability to play it on either. Don't be upset that it's only on one. It's a limited time thing. It is an action platforming game like Dead Cells. The sprawling city of Caligan was once the forefront of scientific research. Its progress was suddenly halted by the invasion of a rival state hell-bent on stealing its technology. Desperate to survive, Caligan scientists developed a breed of super soldier. You are the first arbiter. I think the style of producing the animation might even have been similar to Dead Cells. They have like a really specific production line behind producing their graphics that they've been very open about, where it's a 3D graphic that then gets converted to look more like pixel. The main character is very cool. I like the distinct design there. Have, you just start with like a nice simple sword thing. Wow. Okay. I do like that they maintained really fluid high frame rate animations. I feel like Dead Cells kind of fakes it a little bit to make it look like it's less detailed animation than it actually is. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Ranged attack. A little bit of auto aim there. So I guess you... Uh, I'm curious how the game chooses to prioritize the, the different enemies. Oh, well, that's great. I'm so glad I ran straight into them. Melee hits restore ammo, so I do actually have to be mindful of ammo. I was I was just looking for it in the UI there. It's in the top left. There's like a little uh, target next to it. All right, that's not working particularly well for me there. Oh, God, you get stun locked a little bit, actually. That makes things uh, rather tricky. But it doesn't seem like you have much ability to interrupt their attacks. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just shooting that thing point blank is very uh, satisfying. The Harrow, she calls it. Is, is that like an infection maybe that has affected these guys? I thought maybe there would be like a ledge grab or something that I was trying to utilize there. There's not a ton of directionality to my attack. Like, it's... Here's attacking down, just normal to the side, to the side, and then up. See, even though I'm holding up, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that your first slash points up. Which does make things a little bit tricky. I feel like I, I'm gonna wanna start using the evade more often. It's feeling like it's gonna be more important than I have been giving it credit for so far. I should try and max out my ammo. That was a very failed evade. I just want to see if it has a cap. 14. So that's something to keep in mind. That you might as well, like, try and use it up to a point. If you know you're about to get some back anyways. You do not have a ton of reach on your attack. That's been... <laughs> God damn it. That's been quite a few times now where I've uh, like tried to dodge to the other side of something and then not had such good aim this guy has. See, the I, I dodged the other side and then my first swipe doesn't quite hit. I gotta get a better feel for that. I feel like uh, Dead Cells has the tiniest bit more forgiveness, which is interesting. I, I feel like that game has a lot of baked in hidden mechanics that you're not like aware are there in the moment while you're playing it and then if they were to take them away you'd be like oh this feels wrong this doesn't have like very effective mechanics or motion or anything like that i do like hidden things like that in game design that improve the feel of a game so far so far i'm 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 liking this a fair amount it doesn't quite have the the speed of dead cells? Do I keep saying dark cells? What the hell? <laughs> I feel like even back when I specifically played that game, I got it wrong frequently. My apologies if I've just been consistently saying the wrong thing. There's a very real possibility of that. <laughs> just the one singular little shot there. Thought it would make it easy. Now I'm getting a better feel for how to sneak up on these guys. Can't jump into that. Should have known. 
I would like new weapons. Ooh. Oh, it's just a door. <laughs> I thought that would be a much more interesting interaction than it ended up being. It was almost nothing, really. The character, like, enemy design and stuff is cool. I'm not sure how much I'm getting futuristic, post-apocalyptic. Like, the background is really giving me that. Uh, for other enemies and stuff around, they're just kind of like cool monsters. Oh, God. All right, this thing's notably stronger than anything else so far. Figured I might as well just unload all my ammo all at once there. Oh, good. Good, it does dish out some pretty healthy health returns. No. Oh, no. Something stay dead? Oh, I... I wonder if this, since it's an early look at things, kind of skipped ahead of something a little bit. Because I definitely have not encountered that monster before. So she's talking about it as if it's something we've seen once. Never thought I'd be going back to the temple. Okay, that's really cool. That's not something you can <laughs> jump on. Looked a little bit like it, maybe. I just naturally started climbing upwards. I seems like I could have gone laterally as well. Okay, we got little uh, barbarian-like whirling blade guys to worry about now. They're so tiny and cute, but they have so much health. Oh god, he can climb up the ledge. I was uh, almost certain he wouldn't be able to, so I wasn't even, like, remotely trying to avoid that. <laughs> Damn, they're slightly more agile and capable than I thought. And what I thought was, like, zero. I'm gonna regret spending all that ammo on easy enemies, aren't I? Oh shit. <laughs> that was pretty epic. A bad dream. Forget it. Stick to the mission. Stick to the mission. Hmm. That's peculiar. Oh, so is that a vision of like if things were to collapse, that's what it would look like? I'm, I was kind of curious if maybe the dream thing was an excuse to change areas for the sake of this, like, demo. Am I a little bit faster now? Surge! So I have, I have a, a little bit of a dash attack that I can hurt enemies with? Fun. I'm into that. How do I use it again? It looks like maybe it just has a cooldown? Or maybe I have to have a series of attacks before I can use that again? The Oratory. Momentum. Kills have a chance to give haste, which incre increases movement speed. Bloodthirst. Kills have a chance to leech, which lets you steal life. Uh, chance for explosive charge. Explodes at max stacks, or when duration ends. You just blast things real good. A uh, chance to attach a tether latched to a target, damaging on movement and breaking at a distance. A chance to apply plague, which is just poison. And a chance to gain Bulwark. Increases physical resistance. I have 46 of whatever these little gems are. Uh, I like the idea of being able to move faster as you get rushing through things. That opens up a few new paths for me as well. Light-footed. Oh, you just straight up can increase movement speed. That's like more what I want. I would love to invest in that. And... This stuff is now blocked off? Oh, man. Is it the, the arrows are maybe telling me, like, all right, well, you can either choose this way or this way. It's hard to interpret now after the fact, but I think you might no longer be able to choose this. That's really interesting. You're locking yourself into really specific trees. Oh, God. And there's, like, a multitude of other trees that you eventually access. And you can swap out some of some of your different skills and things. Damn, that's an impressive amount of stuff to to allocate. Teleporter currently nothing. The forge, the short sword might be all that I that like. That's probably already what I'm using. Oh, but then there's a regular pistol. I, I don't have any shields or bombs or whatever those are yet. I could upgrade it for twenty. Its power is currently only ten. 
It can be upgraded by spending gold. Each upgrade increases damage per second or health by 10% and has a chance to enhance an equipment modifier. Or I can salvage it for gold. And the more you upgrade it, the more it salvages for. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spend an upgrade because it is not very costly. And currently, I think this thing does not actually do that much damage. And I'll upgrade the pistol probably twice as well. And that stops me from any further upgrades. I think, uh, like, uh, basically doubling the damage per second will make a very large difference. I felt very weak overall as uh, as I'm fighting through things. She's been busy. Better track her down before she can do any more damage. I, I could go back to the outpost again if I wanted. I don't think I will. <laughs> Damn, I'm just... That was a little bit of time out of combat, and uh, I'm still, like, familiarizing myself with things. Oh, you totally refill the cooldown by, by attacking, same as your ammo. But yeah, that was a waste of my skill, because I was just confirming that I remembered what the controls were. I saw that thing there, but I wasn't really prepared for what it may or may not do, so it didn't go great. There, now I got my nice recharge. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see one of those on the ground like that. Look at that guy. He's got his nice Robocop Commando Patrol stance going on. <laughs> if I just keep doing that, won't stand a chance. And then just pop in for a quick headshot. I assume that guy shot a lot of bullets just then. No, it's just one singular uh, strong one. Oh, that worked out really well. That was awesome. I was very proud of myself just then. <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of ran up to this guy and took it point blank. Oh man! As soon as you get the combos going, then the the damage doled out is very satisfying. I took a lot of damage in a very short amount of time, though. I kind of want to just backtrack in search of some enemies. Yeah, like you. That's exactly what I was looking for. God, that was. I don't think I can jump back up there particularly easily. Haha! <laughs> I was hoping for some health out of that too, but I guess I'll just take the gold. Free gold. Free gold, when I say that, it makes it sound like I got like a handout. Uh, lessens the fact that I earned it. It's it's a hard day's work to get that gold. Looks like I'm on the right track. Ooh, health upgrade. Bam! Ooh, something about this character all of a sudden, like, I guess, like, the hanging cloth and everything and, like, the skilled part feels very sorceress from Diablo 2. That was kind of, like, a very sudden thing. Oh, you can, like, keep spending it. Alright, well, I might as well spend it all the way till as much as I can to fill back up again. That is very helpful. That's going to be difficult to give up. I, I feel like I will just hang on to that. See the ladder there, I don't have the jumping necessary to access it. That was just for my own sake. Using the guns that heavily in that moment was very unnecessary. Oh god. If I would have just committed, I could have killed that thing so easily, but I was scared. And I ran. Because I wasn't sure what was coming next. That looks like a secret if I ever saw one. Oh hell yeah. What do we got here? Longbow? And I was literally just thinking to myself, like, I guess one difference between dead cells is the fact that you use, like, guns rather than more medieval things. Armor, extra power and health, physical resistance, a pretty weak DPS, it's ranged, a 16% chance to gain 25 life on kill. That's pretty good. I do kind of want to swap that out just to play around with it. Uh... But it's going to be not upgraded, and it's not very strong, and I feel like maybe I'm better off investing in something that's going to keep me alive. Oh, but it did not immediately equip. I can pick up both if I want? Huh. So can I upgrade this at any time? I can't. No. Okay, I don't immediately get it. Those are like blueprints or, or whatever we're going to be calling them in this game. That I'm going to have to retrieve back at the outpost. That's my uh, understanding all of a sudden. 
But is, what, 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 like, what's up with that? What did I just get there? <laughs> yeah, just shoot everything. Why not? Oh, I hate, I hate, hate, hate that you can't hold up and attack up. Like, that was huge in Dead Cells. That, maybe they don't want you to do that because it was a great way to, like, avoid a lot of encounters and, and kind of dodge around riskier situations. But I could really utilize that. All my... A multitude of my damage is being taken during, like, bad moments where I just shouldn't be taking damage. And it's, like, completely my fault. But come on. <laughs> Make it a little easier on me, won't ya? So everything uh, crashed on me. The computer crashed, not necessarily the game. I think it was as simple as, like, a V-Sync issue. I'm hoping that that's sorted out now, that it shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I actually found way more items this time around, so I have more things to kind of mess around with. Uh, I Oh, it's it's 50. Dang. I, I thought I was actually going to be able to... Oh, you can refund things for gold, which is quite interesting. Maybe I look into getting, like, tether or explosive strikes or uh, contagion. Like, I would get the plague and then it would spread to other people. I'm assume, assuming it wouldn't hurt myself. I think I'd rather save up for improved movement speed. Anyways, ignore the items that I found previously. I have more stuff this time around. Uh, and more, like, better rarities overall. I don't think you can actually salvage your original gun that you start with. It doesn't show up as an option. But, you know, then there's this one that is literally the exact same gun. Salvage it. Don't need it. But then there's, like, blue rarities. Uh, this sword is very unexciting. It's it's no different than, than my regular sword. Also, getting cut... But I did find things like a ring now that increases power and health. Critical strike chance goes up. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. I also found this emblem, which is power up, health up, and cheap to upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck that on. Was That that cost a little bit more to upgrade, but that, that was like a no-brainer to, to throw a little extra on that. For the guns, shotgun, pistol, 12% chance to inflict paralysis, 11% chance for knockback. This is obviously better than my base pistol. It hasn't even been upgraded yet. I think I'll go ahead and invest in the shotgun. I'm going to equip that. It's basically just a pistol. I'm going to salvage it. Don't care too much about it. It's a pretty unexciting thing. Unfortunately, didn't find anything new melee-wise, and I'll upgrade the ring. So that is like a solid amount of different upgrading. I'm curious if this is strictly because it's the demo, but the layout of like the map and everything was exactly the same. Oh, speaking of, I think that didn't go where I wanted it to. I have to go use the teleporter. But I'm not sure if it's just for this early access that they have like a particularly... Oh, nuts. Do I not have... I, I can teleport through here. Yes, waypoint two. That's what I'm looking for. I feel like the layout might be preset strictly for the sake of this, like, demo early access thing that's being run. I know that uh, Dead Cells is procedurally generated. I honestly don't know if this game is or would be. So there's the shotgun. Rather satisfying, I'd say. Does not work at a distance, as you would expect. You gotta get up close to blast those boys. Ooh, I got myself a shield if I want it now, too. I should pay attention and see if uh, there's a little bit more of a reload on it, too, as well. It's not, like, immediate firing. I should see if it has a different ammo cap. Yeah, that was as fast as I could, as I could shoot that one. That was as good as it got. Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that thing to be so big, but then... Once you bust out the shotgun and everything, I, I use my dash skill. Starting to combo things together here. That's very satisfying. I do like that you kind of splash damage, hurt multiple things at once when getting in there with the shotgun. Because that's what I'm really trying to do, is just hurt things as much as possible. And I don't want to be judged for it, you know? It's what I'm here for. It's what I was born to do. Was that, am I am I applying some contagion, or are they or something? There was some sort of poison marker going around there. That shouldn't have been me. I didn't end up investing in it. Yeah, you think your big ass, huge, oversized barrel gun is so cool, man? 
We'll wait until you see what I got. Dash attack. Aw, oh, I was hoping I could blast through both of them. Not quite. That was marginally disappointing. Upgrading, even though it's a shitty sword, it's like, you know, the stock sword in the game, uh, upgrading it was super worth it because I'm, I'm kind of plowing through enemies to a degree that I just wasn't before. And that just feels good. Like, look at that shit. I don't know if that these will damage me. It kind of seems like I can stand straight on those flaming boosters. Didn't seem to matter in the slightest. I just checked. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, that does hurt me. That was a, I like tabbed out of the game and came back just getting ruined. <laughs> that, that didn't go so well for me. Uh, but I did want to go and double check. The game does still appear to be like working overtime on my computer. I do have issues with really particular games. And part of me tends to think it has to do with optimization. And so hopefully that's something that improves further into development for this game. Because right now my computer is just not happy with it. It shouldn't affect anything, as long as we can uh, monitor things and avoid another crash, then yeah, it should still be able to <laughs> show off the game quite well. Damn you! Oh god. I'm very, very glad that I was able to, to avoid that. Did I just activate like a power supply? I just keep spending all my health uh, skill as soon as I earn more. There we go, okay, doorway, gotcha little like poster on the wall there that you can't actually investigate i do like the way that that guy's uh gun like slots out or weapon whether or not it, it's not it's not a gun it's melee <laughs> but i do like it it reminds me of the guy in the like the last jedi maybe who has like that awesome baton that he can like that can defend against lightsabers feels a little bit like that i have some like personal hopes that there was some inspiration taken there because that guy's awesome it's the coolest stor storm trooper by far maybe a shock trooper is that what that guy or character was called all right i don't know what's up with it doling out so many uh oh so many items sometimes wow that was really abrupt i just kind of i kind of got pinchered between them there oh is there a chance this game isn't procedural? I didn't, I, I, I would have dropped a bunch of my blue gems and things, but I, I like got to hang on to a lot of stuff there. Uh, enhanced chance to stun, we'll salvage that, it's stupid. It's kind of expensive to upgrade that. I, and I just lost a bunch, of gold, a bunch of gold and everything. So that kind of stinks a little bit. I wish this was marked in some way just some quick way to be like this is your standard weapon you're not allowed wait where is it this one what one what am i oh i couldn't salvage it before because it was equipped i'm totally allowed to salvage my like base item all right that's fine <laughs> that's very useful actually uh extra health and power definitely upgrading that it costs like nothing to do so i have my two rings Increase critical strike chance by 7% and extra health. I've already started investing in this other one and what I have health from a lot of other sources. So I guess I'm swapping. It's probably worth it to, to ditch this guy. Like this one will become more powerful, much more at like a much steeper rate. So it's probably not worth continually, continually investing. I keep doing this. Can I just walk back in there, please? Oh, but I still only have the two waypoints. I am a little bit curious if enemies respawn after a death. I'm kind of suspicious that they do. And so that means, I mean, I, I guess I'll have realistically an easier go of things because I, I have, you know, more upgrades and skills and whatnot, better items. Uh, but yeah, you do kind of have to re-go through this. There's a real chance that this game is like more story focused and actually has real progression and everything considering that I like didn't start over, that a new run didn't begin. 
which is kind of interesting because that means like when I find areas like I did earlier where it's a little pocket where you find additional items and stuff like that might always be there it makes me curious how much uh, time and care was put into designing these levels and specifically like hand placing that sort of stuff you know see I applied some sort of poison there again I'm suspicious that that's something my shotgun is capable of doing I may have not read that properly previously more P alliterations Peter Parker packed a patch of pickled pumpkins promptly that's the usual rhyme that's the one that people always say always have I, I, I won't hear otherwise I won't believe you that's the one I was raised on anything else you might suggest is, is incorrect I'm gonna move on from that now that we've established that that's a real tongue twister that people actually say I've seen no need to continue to dwell on it to the extent that I have. I am liking the the health upgrades. I feel like I, through, through things like my rings and shields and stuff, have managed to invest in that quite a lot. <laughs> I can sail through most enemies without getting hit currently, so that's, uh, sub substantially satisfying I'm gonna go ahead and say substantial is not the word I want thoroughly let's go with thoroughly that's a that's a word that fits better hey that stayed unlocked that's kind of interesting wish I hadn't jumped in that fire wish I hadn't let that gun shoot me point-blank a second ago unfortunately the game did crash again and so I, I don't know what's going on there hopefully optimization is a little bit better in, in the full release of the game because it is not running particularly well so that's a real shame I won't know when the crash will affect the footage footage keeps recording even when the computer crashes but sometimes you lose a chunk at the end there it like records it in these chunks hopefully it's not in the middle of doing anything important and the further into the game I make it then the further I have to replay to catch up to where I can start recording again and the longer that I play to catch back up the more risk there is of the game crashing and so it's not really worth me picking up and playing more right now which is really unfortunate but hopefully it was enough to at least get your general interest in the game I'll have links down below if you want to follow along I tend to blame my computer more than the game I, I do want to be clear about that I have had issues with other games in the past and it's very annoying but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, regardless of these issues. And I'll see you again soon.